Today's video is all about the remake of this home studio. I moved out to an actual office together with Frank. So this place becomes available for a YouTube studio permanently. I don't have to break things off and I can literally just, you know, flip the switch and start recording. But the only thing that really was a problem here was the acoustics. It sounded horrible. So I thought about making my own DIY uh, acoustic panels. So I did. This is the sound with the panels. Ayo, ayo. And this is it without. Yo, hey, hi. So as you can see, the difference is drastic. So I did a little vlog on how I built these things, but I wanna say before we start, I made a ton of mistakes, but I'll get to that later on. Or I kinda didn't remember if I talked about it during vlogging, but we'll see. The items I used for this project were Rockwool Roxono Solid, which is a 45 kilo per cubicle meter of density, which is good for the frequency of the voice. Then I used a plain white Ikea curtain as my fabric. I used some simple wood. I used a stapler, some screws, a drill, and of course, some other consumables. It is day two, rather the next day. I was thinking to finish everything up but one to show you guys what I do with the rock wool. But yesterday I was in a kind of flow. I was watching a movie and then doing this while I was going um, and it got really late so I was kind of annoyed. So um, I finished it, yeah. So all the panels are in the back, like in the studio room right now. My mom's coming over with a dog. So I really need to clean up this stuff here because I mean, my feet are itching and hurting from the rock wool, so it's ooh, terrible stuff. Never do this in your living room, <laughs> just so you know. So, uh, yeah, I'll continue vacuuming and, uh, you know, clean up. Okay, so right now I am um, putting the hooks in uh, because the idea of a sound panel or an acoustic panel is that you at least want the thickness of the panel to have in an air gap above the panel. So I'm going to hang these from the roof or the ceiling with these um, chains. And um, so yeah, these are roughly the same length. Well, a lot longer actually, but um, yeah. So I'm going to put them in these little hooks and uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Woo Just pre-drilling a little bit so it is easier to get these bad boys in. Oh, very tedious work. Okay, cool. Okay, so I am done with all the panels. I screwed in the, um, the hooks on the back for the ones that go up the ceiling. Um, kind of figured out how I want to do this. This is my amazing uh, calculations. So the roof or the ceiling is 290 centimeters wide. I'm going to put three panels in and I'll have like 25 centimeters in between each panel. That will give me a nice even spread over the whole ceiling. So that's a good thing. Oh, my knee hurts. Ah. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and do now, but I have to remove the light, the top light, like the, the, the work, work light, like just the regular light. Um, I'm going to move it a little bit over to the door side because I want to have the panels straight above the desk, straight above the microphone to have the best results. So, let's get going. Oh no.
All right guys, so as you see, these panels took me a lot of work. It actually took me two days from the idea to the finished product and also because this building where I'm living in is super old, every screw or every hole that I drill in the wall sort of, yeah, I don't know, just falls apart. So it, 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 was, a, it was a pain in the ass to hang these things up. Anyway, it all worked out eventually. So that's all that matters, but you know, it is a lot of work. So if you're on a tight schedule and you have money, then just go out and buy proper acoustic panels. But if you don't have a lot of money and you want to do these DIY projects like I am, then definitely do it because it's a lot of fun. It doesn't require a lot of talent. You know, I'm definitely not talented in building stuff. So go out and buy some, some wooden planks and, and some rock wool and some Ikea curtains and start making these things because they do a remarkable job. Anyway, I'm very happy with the result. I hope you guys um, will enjoy this a lot more because I personally hate it when there is a lot of reverb, reverberance, reverberance in the room while somebody's talking. Uh, it annoys me, it really takes me out of the story somebody's telling. So I hope this will create even more interaction between me and you. Um, yeah, well, that's it basically. This is part one of the remake of this studio space. I will be addressing the lighting because I kind of want a permanent lighting situation that I can just flip the switch and start recording. Um, so that's the second step. So take an eye out on my YouTube channel for when that comes online. Not sure when, but it will come eventually. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great week because it's Monday right now, you know? So yeah, have a great week. Yeah, you know, using the app to control my uh, my camera. <laughs>